Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to transfer files from an iOS device to your Windows PC or from your Windows PC to an iOS device. If you want to transfer files between iOS devices, you know that it has a function called AirDrop. But if you want to transfer files from an iOS device to your Windows PC, there's no such thing. You might have heard of SnapDrop, which is another alternative for AirDrop. Simply go to snapdrop.net on both of your devices on the same network to easily transfer files. But when I use Snapdrop, I realize that they can easily find each other, but are not able to transfer files from an iOS device to a Windows PC and the other way around. However, if you want to transfer files from an iOS device to an Android device, it works perfectly. I will be showing you how to do it on Windows 11, but if you are using Windows 10, it might look a bit different. On your Windows PC, search for Add, Edit, or Remove Other Users. Under Other Users, Click on Add Someone Else to this PC. If your current computer is registered with Microsoft account but not a local account, turn off the internet so that they will not ask you to use the Microsoft account to create a new user account. After that, I am just going to name iPad Transfer for who is going to use this PC and you can add your own password. Set the security questions and you are done creating a local account. Go to the File Explorer and you can choose any location. I will just put in some my downloads folder. Name the folder anything you want, but you will need to remember the name. Right click on the folder and click properties. Go to sharing and click on advanced sharing. Enable share this folder and click permissions. Click on add and type in whatever name you have placed earlier. Give it full control, click on apply and click on ok. After that, click on Share and click on the arrow beside and select the name you have chosen earlier. Then, change your user account to be able to read and edit it. Click on Done and click on Close. Now, go to Network Status. If you have turned off your internet earlier while setting up, turn it back on. Click on Properties and make sure the network profile is set to Private. Then, scroll down and refer to the IPv4 address. On your iPad or iPhone, open the Files app. Click on the three dots above and click on Connect to Server. Type SMB colon double slash and type in your IPv4 address. Make sure it is under Registered User and type in the name and password that you have set up earlier. While I was recording, the screen recorder blocked me typing the password in the password section, so it looks that it's blank but you have to type in the password. Once done, click Next. All your files in the folder that you created should be there. To save a photo or video from the Files app to the Photos app, click on the file. Click on the Share button and click on Save Video. The photo or video should appear in the Photos app and it should play like any other video in the iOS Photos app. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next video.